any given time, 7,000 U.S. flights are in the air. That's 54,000 flights a day. Worldwide, a billion people will fly this year. But it all started with one ticket purchased in St. Petersburg, Florida. I would equate his celebrity status as being similar to that of a rock star today. Everything he did, no matter how minor it was, it was covered in the newspapers. I suspect that, that there was a much better way to go between uh, Tampa and St. Petersburg than to take the land route. All of a sudden, you could do the same thing in 23 minutes. It was something new. Most people had never seen an airplane. Every time an airplane went somewhere, people would riot. They'd go crazy. They'd run down the center of a town looking up into the sky, hollering, airplane, airplane. They were airborne. The sprockets on, like, a bicycle chain came off the propeller, so they had to land in the middle of Tampa Bay. The impact that this first flight had on the future of aviation was significant. He truly laid the groundwork for where we're at today. That flight from Tampa to St. Petersburg took 20 minutes. The plane uh, finally went bankrupt after four months. But because of others like it, this country is number one in aviation, not only in this country, but around the world. And it's amazing how in a period of less than 100 years, we've gone from something we didn't have to something that really uh, is key to how we live and operate today. And we see 12 million jobs created in commercial aviation, and actually it generates $1.3 trillion in economic activity. I think the possibility for space travel in the future uh, can only inspire the aviation enthusiasts, the general populace, to imagine beyond their current limitations and boundaries. And that really all comes back to the spirit of what he tried to do. And I, I tell you, he, he couldn't have a better person to think about to represent the past, the present, and the future of our industry. Here is a story of human ingenuity, an idea to turn what was once considered a novelty into a service that would traverse the globe. The pilot of this historic flight? Tony Jens. I think it's the most profound metaphor that I can think of that symbolizes pushing our boundaries, reaching beyond ourselves, and freedom at some level because we soar in our imagination and we fly in our dreams. 
that's really why he was bought here to start this business. It was to promote business and commerce and to bring people to the Tampa Bay area. We are in the process of optimizing, absolutely optimizing the experience that you will have when you fly in space. And it's just going to be fabulous. Think back in your life. You always remember the trips, the special places you've been. I can tell you to this day, I still love to go out the airport and just watch jets take off. Uh, it's a tremendous thrill to see something of that weight barrel down the runway and safely go in the sky.